Good morning, everybody. It is the beginning of day two. I'm leaving the hotel at Rocky Mount and on my way to Asheville. Looks like today's gonna be some improv due to some closures on the Blue Ridge Parkway. That, and I probably wanna shorten the distance a little bit today. Yesterday was a awfully long ride, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> On the road on day two. As I figured, ended up doing some improv on the route, so I may skip Blue Ridge Parkway entirely today. I am uh, on US 58, just leaving Hillsville, Virginia. So a little bit higher speed, and uh, sorry if the audio is a little rougher, but so. What we have today is another beautiful drive, just not on a national, not on a national parkway. So, looking forward to it. It'll just be a little bit higher speed. Some reflections from yesterday. Absolutely the farthest and most distance that I've uh, gone in a day on the motorcycle. And by the end of the day, I was getting a little tired. So. I've been out for about seven and a half or eight hours. Most of that, of course, was riding, but uh, took some breaks. So maybe six, six and a half hours of riding. And it was nice, but it is definitely, definitely takes it out of you. So today I'm going to skip a little bit of uh, the scenery and just put some mileage on on some higher speed roads. And that's fine. You know, this is my trip. I can do it how I want. One of the pieces of gear I added to the bike for this trip was a windscreen. I tried another windscreen and just really didn't like it. It funneled wind right up my helmet, made everything really loud and unpleasant, so it lasted all of about a 10 minute ride. So sent that back and did some more research. The Vulcan forums uh, pretty much say that the Madstad windscreens are the best. They're several different sizes, they can make different shades. Um, I chose clear and I actually went one size up. Uh, they they prescribe their sizes by the height of the rider. So I actually went one size larger than my height would suggest. Um, my intent of course was to keep as much of the wind off of me as possible and knock down the noise a bit for uh, this longer ride. So the Madstad windscreen is adjustable. It's adjustable for angle and it is adjustable for height. When I started out from home, I started with the maximum layback angle, as in leaned back towards me. And I also raised it pretty far so there was a lot of a lot of room underneath the windscreen for uh, for air to come in and give you a nice breeze. So I've been adjusting it and right now we have it at the most vertical position and I actually have it the lowest so there's the least amount of wind coming underneath the windscreen and I just did this a few minutes ago so these are my first impressions at highway speed with this particular um, configuration so far so good it does seem to knock the noise down a little bit it definitely keeps the wind off your chest so uh, I'm thinking this might be the position that I keep it at for the rest of the, the rest of the trip. We'll see. Welcome to Independence, Virginia. Never been here before, but uh, I'm taking US 221 out of here and heading south towards Asheville. So the scenery certainly has not been as spectacular as yesterday as I've been on uh, U.S. Highway is zipping along at 65 miles an hour. Not quite as pretty, but I'm hoping for some nice scenery on this uh, 221 South. You know, I think I might get what I'm looking for on 221 South. This is promising. And we are crossing the New River. Well, that's not too shabby looking now, is it? 
One of the things I agonized about for this trip was trying to put together a small toolkit to take care of little repairs on the road. So asked a few friends, did a little bit of research, and pieced something together. Well, I got to use it today. Thankfully, it was a very, very minor thing. My uh, windscreen that I was just bragging on was um, one of the one of the lower mounts kind of pulled through. It's a little rubber grommet system that's got a threaded sleeve in it, and it had somehow pulled through. Now that may have been uh, an installation error on my part, but hopefully not. But I was able to uh, fix it in about eh, five minutes in the parking lot, just a little ways back. So we'll consider my toolkit a success. Taking a little rest stop here in Boone. Just got off the bike, stretched my legs, get a little something to drink. Got about an hour and 45 minutes or so left to get to Asheville. Should be a nice run. Welcome to Asheville. This is the Best Western. I'm not sure I was expecting an old school motor lodge kind of thing, but eh, it'll work. <laughs> 